nice right hand by Perez on that entry. I think he's a little hurt. Gray's hurt. Can Perez take advantage? Good defense by Perez on that takedown. Looks like he landed a knee there as Gray was going to the ground. Did look like he landed. Oh, and there's the Dar set up. If he can trap that leg, it's pretty tight. That's pretty tight. If he steps over that body and he can get to that half guard position. That's it. Oh, he's it unconscious. It is over. You called it, Eve. He didn't even need to step over. He had him the whole time. Didn't need to. The squeeze on that choke was tight. Great job. That was beautiful. Let's take a look at it. He defended that takedown, and right here, he's sprawling, gets to that front headlock position, puts his head in the hole, and just rolls and wraps it up. Look, he doesn't even have that squeeze. On. You want to have that, that grip on the bicep, not necessarily on your own forearm. But his squeeze is so good and so tight, he was able to squeeze that choke down, clamp down, and cut off the circulation of blood to his brain. He's punching transition. He's never giving to Thomas a break in here. Oh! Look out! He's got that. Another submission attempt up. here. He's got it tight. CJ Thomas. trying to hang on. There's the tap. tap. In his backyard, Alex Perez, in his UFC debut, scores a stoppage win in the second round. This all started because of how well he was controlling from top. He was landing submission, I mean, he was landing strikes, softening him up and training, and then he lands his Darce choke. He locks in those arms, and he's trying to just slowly torque his feet. See how he's creeping up closer? And once he gets that arm, and he just has to tap. Ooh, there it is again. Oh, that, there, that there, bad. there it is. That oh, there it is. Bad. Oh my goodness, over and Perez over. Let him up, let him up. Formiga can't put any weight on that kick, on that leg. Oh, and Perez goes right back to the well. Oh man, it is so busted up. Look at that left leg. That is a mess. Oh, oh my goodness, that's it. over. That's it. Wow. A knockout due to calf kicks. That's incredible. Let's take a look at these right off the bat. Alex Perez coming out of the gate, guns blazing with that low kick. The real low on the calf kick. Such a dangerous kick, and he checked that yeah, one, DC. But <laughs> he checked that one. As we were talking about before, it didn't help. That shin is so busted up. And here's the last one. Watch this one, Joe. Yeah, this one's short, too. That leg was so busted up, he couldn't take it. Against the side of the fence, it's very hard to finish in our triangle. Yeah, but the but way... Get him away a little bit. The way, that, the way he's positioned in half guard, he's on the wrong side. He can't, he can't pass guard to there. He's got to well, go well, through. It's going to be, gonna be very, through. very difficult. What he can do is push on the thigh, the knee, to pass. Or he could jump over now. Yes. I tell you what, oh, he's, he's out. out. Oh, wow. He's out. Wow. Big performance. Alex Perez ending it early and rolling. Wow. He's still unconscious. I mean, look at that right there. You see him start to walk him away from the side of the octagon. As he gets that, get him away from the side, he's just driving that shoulder press straight forward. Look at his hips up. All of his weight is going into the, the, the neck of Espinosa, getting on that artery. Yeah. It's an arm triangle from the opposite side. Exactly. And for the people at home that don't know, typically Perez would have to clear the legs and get over to the, the other side that he's on to get full pressure. But obviously he has such a squeeze and just so strong in that position, he didn't need to. Perez to the body, mixing it up. Torres able to land a right hand on the way out. Not sure how many power shots he can take. 90 seconds to go in the round. He's just taking too many in a row. One shot hurts, but it's when you take multiples back oh, to back like oh. that. Alex Perez He's on fighting. fire. Perez trying to finish oh, this oh, fight. It. Alex Perez oh. bounces Shorty Torres from the ranks of the unbeaten. What a performance. Look at the number of strikes landed. DC just pointed this out. 104 strikes landed in the first round. He came out guns blazing, extremely high volume and high accuracy as well. Just a tremendous performance by Alex Perez. Just hitting every strike accurate, sharp, and then finding the kill shot, finding the shot that put Torres down to end the fight. Unbelievable.